what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Outside of all the many voices, and trust me, there's many voices, opinions, most of them, about how I feel about the, how people feel about this, how people feel about that. Amen. How many know God is not consulting how you feel on certain levels? He's not consulting how you feel. Amen. He's not consulting what you think. If you've already so caught up in with what you think and what you feel, you've already missed what God is trying to do and what he's trying to say. You've already missed it. Amen. I pray for our African-American nation because we always miss. The enemy knows how to get us. As long as he can throw a colored person up, we're already distracted. I see this happen with the church time and time again. As long as he can throw us. <laughs> Amen. Amen. As long as he, he can distract us as long as he throws it. And we get and we notice that it's pride. It's pride that gets us, the, the African-American church. Amen. Now, don't get me wrong. There is a grace that has established a voice in the culture, in that culture, in America, in the Western, in the African-American church, so to speak, where there is a pride in the race or the, you see that? But I mean, that's not from God. Your cultural pride is not from God. He is a diverse God. He's trying to break you out of that so he can see you. Hello. That's where, that's where, that's where racism begins. You see that, how we miss it. We jump out of one pot into the other. Amen. We have to break out of these boxes and see the diversity and see what God is doing. It's not for everybody. Amen. Your cultural place of safety is not from God. It's not even for God. It's for you. Do you, see, do you see what I'm saying? And God has allowed it because of his grace. Isn't his grace amazing? But it is a place of immaturity. Yeah. In this day, in this age, I declare to you, a segregated church is an immature place. You have not graduated yet to the bigger picture. Amen. There is a time for that, and there was a time for it, and it's by his grace. But we're living in a day and age where we need to have a bigger view of what the Lord is doing. Amen. But it blindsides the African-American church. And, the, and, and the, the enemy hates this sect of the church because this is where all your intercessors and your praying mamas come from if he can shut that down that's not to say that other it's just to say that's just one of the strong parts of the culture why because of the roots of spirituality because of the bloodline i wish i could teach there's bloodline gifting amen and every culture have its different uh has its different facet of gifting. But the African-American culture has a very strong spiritual bloodline because of the motherland, because of what took place there in the origins of human history. Amen? In that part of the world, there's an, there's an opening spiritually. So there's a spiritually open people. <laughs> Amen? Amen? So if the enemy can put a black president up that has no good intention for this nation just because he's African American, we will jump right on the wagon. And he takes us all the way into 
the opposite direction. And now we're stuck. Come on, church, wake up. Now the same thing is happening again. I wish somebody could hear me. It's nothing against people or culture. It's just spirit. It's just what is the spirit of the Lord doing? What is he saying? Amen.